Hey everybody, back for another video today. Um, we got a bunch of excess stuff over the last year or so, and we kind of stopped doing openings on it, so I thought we would do one on kind of everything. Uh, we're about to do Evo as of this recording, and uh, we're bringing out a ton of stuff, including some in development location test stuff. And uh, yeah, I know we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're doing a video on the, the candy prep as well. And I think we've got over a little bit of the V-Lixes. We'll probably take a look at that in a sec. But um, yeah, so well, I was gonna open up some of our kits and I'll probably, I might have to come back after the show to open some other parts. I know in uh, previous opening videos, we have imported a couple exa kits and we've we've shown you know like here it is or whatever like we'll do an opening later or whatever so like this is it we're finally going to come back we're going to do an opening uh we'll do a little bit of a look over the cabs once we've all got we got them all lined up at evo uh so you can kind of see the fun stuff that we've done so this first one here is like the lot well these two are the last ones that i picked up i'm actually probably going to work in reverse order of uh when, when i got them and whatnot but i think i've got like reaper hexa to look at and uh, at least one other. So anyway, this was our latest pickup off Yahoo Japan, just a little bit off the, um, a little bit under market price. Infinos XO is their third game. Here's the box and whatnot. So just real quick, I'm gonna pull this out. We're gonna take a look a little bit of the art. I'm gonna try to do this with all the games. Um, even though it's a bit of a pain in the ass to put it back in, we're probably not actually going to display some of these, you know. So, anyway, here is the poster real quick. Boop, that's all you get. Beautiful. Um, gotta, gotta keep these video, keep this video on the roll, otherwise it's going to take forever. <laughs> so here you've got, as usual, with all Exa games, which is really cool, I don't know if you knew this, uh, Peter, but they always come with both languages. That's amazing. I you know, it's that. uh, it's I mean, it's good. You know, because they they want to support all regions and whatnot, and it's good to good to have. So then here we've got the marquee, which Wonderful. I don't think this one has. Oh no, this one has. It seems to have two versions, or is that? Um, this one might not. No, this one does not have two versions because there's you know there's nothing. Nothing to put in Japanese. But if there is one where it has like a Japanese title or whatever, they will also have this, you know, both of these in, um, you know, various languages. Okay, let's get into this one, which is actually the more exciting one. This is the um, Batsu Gun Limited Edition that comes with the banners and stuff like that. I was, I was quite excited about this. I'm glad they went to banners instead of the, uh, what's it called? Um, the standees were cool, but like they're big. They're hard to display um you know more expensive to get shipped over here whereas this you know you can see it's, it basically looks like a double size box of the of the exa box um and i think that's just to hold the the kit and then the separate the other side is probably the uh the banners so i may or may not i don't have a a proper stand for this style banner yet so i may not show i'm probably actually not going to show this at the show i don't know we'll see i'm trying to put on a good a good showing for them so who knows it's a little extra effort but here we go we've got the limited edition box which is a cute cute little hand hand drawn um one here with the, the autograph on it as the limited edition comes with Mm, it's amazing. So pretty. It's very pretty. Let's open this up. It's a rather thick box. So I think there's quite a few things in this one. I'll try to show it. Oh no, it's just the. That's right. It's the tube. This one didn't come with the tube. That's a shame. It's weird. Uh, not not that I really. I'm not like such a big collector that I'm gonna care about everything being pristine. Like ooh. This isn't the the standard blue the green bubble wrap that everything comes in. That's sort of, you know. I don't know. Maybe he didn't even. Uh, I, don't know. I mean, he, I guess he didn't necessarily rush this one out for us or anything. It's already been. It's just I wasn't in any hurry to to get it. I, the, actually, the only reason we I kind of wanted to get it now was so that we could have it for Evo. So there's the cart. We'll be putting all these games in and kind of doing a, a quick look over all of them later. But yeah, no. Um, if anyone is not familiar, uh, Batsugun is a. An older 
Oh, that's right. No, it was the, the I think there's the custom buttons and stuff. That was what was holding up a lot of the orders. Um, this is, might be a little bit of a pain in the ass to get back in the baggie later, but we'll do it anyway. <laughs> but um, there's the keychain. That's cute. Yeah. We've got here... So that's the custom, the, the EXA buttons. That's, oh, that, I think cool. that's part of what was holding it up. You see the custom, um, that's really cool, you know, actually, yeah. ball or uh, dust cover and stuff like that. I don't know which cab I'm going to put this on yet, but uh, we will see. That may not be on a show cab. These are hard to pack in. I'm, I'm always impressed when they, uh, when they get these in there. There's quite a few posters. Ooh. You can even see on the, on there, you can see the EXA logo on the side of the ship there. But uh, I'm going to try to display these. Um, wow, look at that art. Yeah, let me... Fuck, I don't, I don't want to pack this stuff back in, but... <laughs> I'm going to have to. Let's try to look at all the posters. Then I'm gonna, you got actually, it, man. maybe we'll, we'll come up here and... Okay, so there's one. And there's the second one. Oh, nice. That's a good one. There's the third. Oh, no. That's a really no, good one, too. Stop. No, stop. Crap, no. Oh, no. There we go. The third one. <laughs> and the fourth one. I think that's my favorite. Yeah, so there's that. And let's take a look at the insert art. So this one has probably the, yeah, has the full uh, Vulix. Nice. All right, so we've got the. I'm not going to open this up all the way right now, actually. It's too much of a pain. But you can see it's got the instruction sheet. It's got the. These would go on the side on the, on the view like in, in uh, rotation mode, uh, or in top day or whatever. And then these are the. I think for the top and bottom. If you although these are so this would be for top and bottom if you put it in a. Oh no, this is the topper one. Okay, so this goes in the the like very top section of the, the view lakes awesome so that's all the art for that let's open up the other side which should have the banners and then maybe we'll head out we'll take a look at some of the games in the yep there we go we've got a full set of the banners here um there's one two three four five, six of them. Um, and I'm actually not going to open these on camera. We'll, we'll come back and we'll, we'll take a look at these later. Um, but these are super cool. Um, yeah. So I'm going to tidy all this stuff back up. We'll bring the carts out to the machines and I will take a look at it. So we'll be right back. Hey everyone, Dave from GameStar here. We're at EVO 2023. We are still in the middle of setup. Uh, we're up just about at the point where we're populating all these games. Yeah. Uh, this row of Vulixes right here are going to get populated by this stuff. A bunch of stuff. Uh... It would have been weird if I was like, hey, he pulled up the box and there's no label on it. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, stuff that we got recently from our good friends at XR Arcadia. Power cable. <laughs> Artwork that'll go on the cabinet, the cabinets themselves. And we got an XR board here. Pretty straightforward. We did a retake on this video. One thing that our cameraman pointed out, we got English and Japanese instruction manuals. Japanese one looks way more fancy, fancier <laughs> than the, the English one. Usually that's the case. Isn't it? Yeah. Like, like, even with home video games, right? The, the Japanese, except they're both in black and white. Usually yeah. with, the, with, with like the PlayStation, the Japanese one's in color. Yeah. And we get, we get cheaped out. It's all good. It's still a premium product nonetheless. Moving over here. This one has uh, all the marquees in it. And we're going to put one of those on uh, each of the games, or as many of these as we have. I think there's one in each box. Okay. Yeah, those are the move lists. Move lists for Dynamite Bomb. Here 
them show perfect. Karate champ. That might be it. No, one more. And another, or, another. Actually, two more, I think. Two more dynamite bombs. This one should be. Uh, something else in the bottom. I think it's Arcana Harvard. Oh, looks, that's looking like Arcana. Yeah, that's Arcana Harvard. Six stars X. Stand, okay. Six stars X stand. <laughs> And then this is the bottom's the same PC and all of them. So we don't have to. Uh, PC, PC and all of them? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, nothing special down yeah. there. Let's see. Another extra arcade board. Well, the, the board is special. It's yeah, not like, yeah. It's not like the, it's not a super limited edition or anything. Like that. <laughs> This is in here we got a few games. I think those were from a different thing. Yeah, we yeah. got uh, Infinos Exa and Matsugan. This is a newly... Uh, that, oh, that's a, a, that's a oh, new boy right there. there the and game. there's the rest of them. Yeah. Axel okay. City 2. Kung Fu vs. Karate Champ. Six stars, extend. <laughs> and Dynamite. Yep. Are these just wrapped up in a bag? Yeah, just in the bubble wrap. I don't have enough hands. Yeah, it was just wrapped up in the, in the bubble wrap. Wrap it in the bubble wrap. I think uh, these were these were uh, received. Was it a day a day before we set up? Two days before we set up? Yeah. Shout outs to uh, whatever courier service delivered this. We got move, move uh, strips for Kung Fu vs. Karate Champ here. Alright. Another how to play. Put these on top, so we're actually going to put those on the games. Thankfully, they're laminated, so we can just tape them. Unbox them four. I apologize in advance for this unboxing where the boxes were opened already. Oh yeah, sorry. We got a DVI splitter. That's for the Versus City. Or not, or Versus, Felix Versus. Mm -hmm. And then a bunch of Exa IOs. So um, we got uh, four in total? Yes. Don't know if we're swapping those in, but maybe. And the brackets, I don't know what those brackets are. I don't know if they're for the... Unless it's for like the splitter. They wouldn't be for the side art. I don't know. Maybe the mount, the boards themselves. Probably the mount. Oh yeah, the feet for the exit, yeah. the, the, yeah, the mounting feet for the exit. That makes sense. That's why yeah. there's, that's why there's four sets of them. Yeah. <laughs> no one uses those. People watching this video can see the wheels scraping in there, trying to figure out yeah. what are these pieces of metal. And then just another X. Just another X, and a bunch of screws for said nothing. Is that for the screw? Uh, right, could be. I don't know. Yeah, very much, very much could be. So if you are. I don't know when this video is going to be posted, but if you were, since it'll be probably, probably be posted after Evo, if you were at Evo, somewhere in this area here, you'll see our desk. We're going to have all our, all our staff and all our tools and workshop and stuff. The uh, exit section would be right next to our desks. We'll be running these games all weekend. Looking forward to uh, looking forward to uh, showcasing these. Uh, specific board. Uh, sorry that the, uh, the heads in charge of EXA couldn't make it, but uh, hello, wherever you are, you're watching. Uh, 
what's next? Think back to back to work? Yep. Getting pretty all this much. done. Making yep. sure we don't stay up all night doing this. We're gonna, but all right. All right, and then the next video we post will be a walkthrough of what we got going, including a walkthrough when we get everything, uh, when it's showtime. Hopefully with every single cabinet filled with players. Yeah. No, it, it, it's a good thing. I know. I know we're all tired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, take care, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for your support. Have a good night. All right, we're back. It's uh, been quite a while. This stuff has been piling up for a while. Um, and actually, the only reason we're opening this box right now is because we need it for a convention, which I think I, I set all this stuff out like a month ago even to get started. And uh, But yeah, we're kind of in a little bit of a hurry to get some of this stuff ready, and I keep putting off opening, so we're opening the parts that we need for now. Um, oh yeah, that's right, we had the, they, they shipped the original boxes for this. We'll keep these intact, but... Um, we're both messed up today because we've managed to both um, get ourselves the sicky sick. Has, uh, got we've got one one week to look forward to. <laughs> uh, see if there's anything else in there. Throw tuck that toss that box to the side, and then we'll take a look at what, at what we've got here. All right, yeah. So that's it. Um, these were PCBs that we had sent out for service. We uh, actually loaned them to our partners over at uh, Hunter Yen Life. And we just got them, well not just, we got these back about a month ago. Um, and some of this is stuff that we've displayed on the channel before. We've got a whole bunch of carts here. We loaned them a bunch of ours. We got the Location test games that we had for Evo uh, were sent out for update to their their full retail versions. So there's a whole bunch of carts. We'll just go through these real quick. Um, Bots of Gun, which was one that I bought. I think actually that was the only thing that I opened earlier in the video. We've got Kira Kira uh, Star Knight there is updated. Uh, Dynamite Bomb. Fritra. Which, I, I don't remember if I've opened this on the channel, but uh, Retro was one of our um, Yahoo Japan purchases, and Infinos as well. Um, let's see what else we got back. Kung Fu and Karate Champ, that was one that we got, we picked up. We, we originally didn't buy that for um, ourselves, we, we got it for, um, <coughs> for, for Evo. Uh, Astro Ninja Man, that was in our, our video before. Um, what's it called? A Kana Heart there. That is updated to the release version. Samurai Shodan 5, I bought that two Japan trips ago. And Axel City 2, updated to current version. So there's those. In the bottom of the box, we've got... Yeah, so I think... We've, we've unboxed, I think, an Exo before, but they, they come in like this... Whatever. We unbox these at Evo, I believe. Yeah. It's like whatever. I'm not. I'm not like a huge collector to the point where I'm gonna care too much about this. But it's it's neat. We we left it in the original packaging. So here is our updated EXA. Uh, I believe these were working. These were fine. They just sent them in for um, for update or whatever. So this was the key. What we need. We all of our cabs are all empty of the the EXA boards right now. So there's one of them. Um, I'll leave it out of the box and we'll bring it to the warehouse. And put the boxes away somewhere else. Um, and then we've got one more box over here. I'm gonna drop that tray in there. So, and like just kind of, I just wanted to show this because um, you know, EXO does do service for free. You have to pay for shipping, but um, they will service your board for free if there's any problems. They'll do updates. Um, and they send it back to you exactly how you sent it. Like, you can see this box here is actually the box that I sent it out in. Uh, it was for my, my Pelican case. But yeah, uh, it was a couple weeks turnaround or something like that. And it comes back good to go and everything. So let's see what's in the other. I think, I think this is probably, this has Exa boards in it. I think the, the IO boards, maybe. Oh, we do have some brackets. Cool. 
Right, 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 right. So I asked for extra brackets because the original ones, the, the first few boards that we got didn't come with the brackets. So I, they were, I was told to just ask them for um, some extra brackets so we can have these permanently mounted into our um, into our cabs. So I'll leave these out as well. And then just one more accent here. Throw those back in. I'm gonna I'm gonna copy all those arts later and and uh, come back with that. But I'll pass you this. And uh, here we've just got the manuals. I don't think they, we never actually opened any of this on video. We just opened it at the show and, and used it, right? I think so. The uh, the art, yes. The manuals were just kind of left. In yeah, the but we didn't we didn't actually video this part. So anyway, like there's the. The dynamite bomb art. And yeah, so these, at some point, I'm gonna take them down, get them copied and uh, properly. And honestly, I think we're probably gonna do like for the for the marquee portions. These here. One for uh, that's dynamite bomb. This is uh, kung fu yeah. So these didn't come with like the posters and all that stuff, but specifically. Later in the opening, I think some of these boxes down here, we asked for the, the rest of the set to uh, to fill it out since we actually bought them. Uh, they just sent these along because they needed them for display at the show. But So like these, I'm thinking actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to color copy all these. Um, but since the X is a four player cab, we'll do like a marquee that has all four of them and I'll, I'll put something together for that. Um, but for now, we'll just put them here. They'll, I'll throw them in the archive with everything else until we get around to doing that. We just got a large format printer from our partners at Save Point. So, you know, once we get all that stuff scanned and cleaned up, we should be able to print all of our own art in-house. So, uh, yeah, mainly just wanted to go through those since we need the boards and carts right away. So um, <clears throat> we're going to put the rest of this off until a little bit later. Um, we'll be right back. We are back now, what, seven or eight months after we started this whole ordeal. Um, we actually just took a couple minutes to review what footage we had so that we could, um, properly tell you what we didn't do. And, uh, I think the first thing was at the, the end of the first part of this video, we mentioned we're going to take these all over the cab, hook them up, and course that didn't happen because we got busy and we jumped straight into you opening the stuff at Evo because we figured you had to open it you might as well open it on video and throw that in and then you know what like six months later here we're you know we had the third part I started opening up bots again and then just never got around to the art so all that stuff or no that was, that was the first part third part was, oh, was, was us getting the, uh, the PCBs back from service. And actually, we just got noticed that our, our last one is coming back from service. Um, so we should have that a little bit later. We'll finish up this video by going through our, our lineup for Level Up once we've figured it out and, you know, show you what we've got. I think that'll be kind of fun. So if you'd like, go ahead and start cutting stuff stuff open. Actually, cut open this one because we'll get all the all of our boxed games out in one place. I'm going to start opening some of these as well. Um, one or two of these are just art sets that were left behind from the games that we were demoing. And once the you know the full version came out, we bought our copies. And then we got the, the artworks and whatnot shipped separately to complete the kit. Uh, since we had sent in the, the ROMs to be updated to production. And uh, so some of these art kits we, you know, it was, we had one or two other things I think we were shipping already. And they were able to just send us these at the same time. I'm going to open these up. I think these are just art sets, but I'm going to set these down. Once we've got them all in one place, we'll break off and take a look at the box gun art that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Let's see. And this one is the kit for our final heart. And the kit for... This. 
Axel City? No, uh, Blazing Chrome. Oh, so yeah, this is the kit for the for the Blazing Chrome that we got in that. I, I don't remember if we showed the one that we got out of the cab, but it had a uh, Blazing Chrome, so now we have art set for Blazing Chrome. And this one should be Nippon, Nippon Marathon. Marathon. Yeah, Nippon Marathon, which we picked up from a colleague of ours who uh, I think they they just were they weren't going to run it anymore, so we picked up the copy because we were intending to at some point anyway. Um, Go ahead and do these two. I think this should be the rest of the yard. I believe one. There should be a um, what's it called? Samurai Spirits. We've had that for a very long time. Uh, I think as far back as uh, the trip, maybe a year ago to Japan, is when I bought it. But we never brought the art set back, and uh, was finally able to do that. I think it might have actually, I think it passed hands a couple times before before then even. But you know, since we're taking care of this, we, we wanted to get parity with them in, in terms of what we owe each other. So we got the Samurai Spirits art. And all this good. Mmm, Japan bubble wrap. Dynamite Bomb. And I believe this one is... Yeah, there we go. Samurai Showdown, perfect. Kung Fu vs. Karate Champ. Yep. Kung Fu vs. Karate Champ, and probably Axel, Axel, City. Axel City yep. 2. Yep. So those are the. These are all just art sets. We already have the games for them. So. That's that. But um. Before all that, let's go ahead and see what is this. Um, oh, I think this might be our control panels. Um, no, it can't be. And I wonder, I might be missing a box here at the moment. I'll, I'll, we'll come back to that. But, um, so here, I think we looked at the first part of this before. The, um, Butts of Gun box with the artwork and signature on it there. So, do you remember if we opened this all the way? I, I should have checked. I think we might have not. Or did I, we? I don't, I, I don't recall. I don't think I don't either. remember. Well, you know, honestly, and honestly, some of these art sets, I don't know if it's super worth, like, unwrapping every single one and looking at it, but for sure, though, I want to take a look at each of the banners in this set. And these are, these are factory sealed, so once they're broken, there's, I think there's kind of no point in trying to get it back in the packaging. I don't have the space to display them all. But I'll probably, I'll, what I'll probably do is fold them up and just put them back in the back. So don't worry too much about you know, tearing them or keeping them neat. But I don't remember, I think there's six of these or so. And I still need to get one the... For, one for each character. Yeah, I still need to get the... Uh, the, the flagpoles and base. And import some of those out of Japan for... Um, to put these on display some of these will like i for example these in particular i might actually take to level up where we're going to be going really above and beyond to put on a big fancy show i might i might bring out some of these because they're pretty cool I think they're all the same, just has each character on them. Yeah, these are never going to go back the way they were, but I don't really care. Yeah, I'll do my best. Yeah. And even like this part of this opening is probably going to be a multi-part thing. It's quite a lot to get through, and I'm sure I'll want to come back for for some things. So is that seven or six? Six or seven? I don't remember. Already kind of lost track. We haven't gotten to the best one yet. Wow, 
what he got. Excellent. There we are. We got best girl. The one that belongs in in every arcade. The Naomi, if you will, of the arcade. So that's all the banners. Let's, uh, I guess we'll, while we're, while we're getting that put away, I'll try and open up this last box. It, it doesn't look big enough to be the control panel. And even if it is, I think I'm going to do a separate video on the control panel, otherwise this one's going to go forever. But I think, even if it isn't, I think there might be some extra I.O. boards in here because we wanted a couple for our Vuelix Versus, which we're turning into a four-player. And specifically that one, we definitely want to use the Vuelix, or the, the Exa I.O.s for their lower latency and whatnot. Ah! Oh. Yeah, I forgot. No, this actually isn't. So there has to be another box somewhere, and I'll, I'll figure it out once we come to it that has the, um, that has the control panel. This is actually my limited edition excess back from service in Japan. Um, these I hand carried with me over there and uh, they serviced it while I was there, but I was already full coming back, so they just uh, shipped it along. So, don't really need to open them now, but just that. And I think, yeah, so some more brackets. Yeah, this is why, you know, I mentioned we have brackets for it, but I think we hadn't had them there yet. We'll actually mount them to our toy units. Mm -hmm. So I just got a couple extra brackets. They're supposed to come with each PCB, but since we had a couple that um, we had bought out of box originally, um, the ones that we used for the show, the one that came and stuff like that, so they, they sent us the extra brackets because we hadn't gotten them. So it's that, and then this, I believe, was the spare IO or two. Looks like it might just be one. Yeah, it feels like just one. Somewhere, I'll have to look and see, but I, I made an order for at least one to three more. And there's supposed to be one that comes with the Blanc control panel, which is somewhere. So just that. I actually have a video on the I.O. as well, I believe, that will not be published for a long time because it's not done. I don't know, but we'll get to it. At any rate, that's, yeah, eventually we'll switch all of our Vuelixes out to those right away. I just can't afford to do it right away. Actually, no, let's, 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 let's. these are going to stay here unless, like, they might go to level up and that's about it. But after these failed, both of them failed going to cons, I don't really feel like chancing it too much if I can help it. Level up's big enough to where the extra board is warranted, but yeah, everything have, else. Will. We have we have a couple. We have, we have a few, yeah, a, a few daily drivers. Yep. that'll do the that'll do the con circuit for us. Yeah, so I think let's see what happened to the control panel then. I'll ask them about it. Anyway, let's go ahead real quick, and I guess take a basic look at. Maybe let's just open one of these. Because the art's cool. You can look it up online, though, I think, a lot of it. Why don't we pick one of them and open it up? Maybe maybe some of the one, like the one or two. Nippo Marathon, we did not um, open that at all yet. I think we opened in Infinos or Akirios, one of those two. 
I don't remember you which. You opened Info Infinite. Infinite. You can see it. You can see where you opened it. You're smart. Did I open? The, yeah. So I did not open the Curious. Let's just open. You opened. This, well, I didn't open that. Open. You you just remember you just unboxed it. It was not new. This was um yeah it's not new. Oh. Well, okay. Uh, that that explains it. Yeah. <laughs> So that'll be one of our four-player um, exit games. We're planning on running Lightning Knights, Jitsu Squad when it comes out. And I haven't really decided on the fourth slot, but I know there's something else we have that does work four-player. Um, but I like P41 Aces might be one that I run. So here's Nippon Marathon's art. And again, maybe we won't go all the way into all of this, but yeah, I'm looking at this, I think, does this have an English and a Japanese copy or is it just one? I think it doesn't, it looks like it only needs one because it's all, um, does that have both? Yeah, it does. So this has English and Japanese. Um, let's see here real quick. Yeah, the reason I had mentioned about pulling these out is they're a real pain in the butt to Oh no, it's two different arts. Okay, this is oh, it's because it can fit. Yeah, so there's two different arts for two different cabs. I'll pull this out real quick. That would make sense. So here's the other one. But, uh, yeah, for now we probably we may not get a lot of this up for level up. Art-wise, uh, my goal kind of is still to put four arts in a single sheet and make our own printout. Um, so for now, we're not going to do that, and you know, I, I almost assume that we're just going to run out of time. Let's go ahead and take a look at this poster real quick, and then um, you have two of them. yeah, I think I am going to not open the rest of it for now. So this came with two posters and they both appear to be the same. So that's pretty cool. Um, actually. Yeah. All right. Oh, no, 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 you're right. Just different, yeah, so it's the same characters. as the, yeah, it's the same as the covers. There's two different arts. Yeah. Cool. I guess in that case, let's... All right, well, I guess, yeah, again, and this, this video is gonna get really long, otherwise if we don't, um, we won't delve too much further into these for now. Maybe if you guys really want in a future video, but you know, for now, I'm gonna pop out this cart for... And maybe like, if we actually go all the way, we'll, um, We'll have scanned all of this art and made our our ones in our units for each each of our four cabs by then, and then you'll get a get a look at some of this art. So uh, at some point, uh, maybe you and I can make a day of. I don't know if I want to just go to FedEx and scan, or because we don't really have a good high-end scanner ourselves right now. Maybe we'll go in together and just manually get some good scans of all this. So, yeah, let's, uh, oh, I guess since I mentioned it before, I should show the, should do this as well. On the previous box opening video, I don't know if it'll be previous at this point, but um, I mentioned I'd come back if I remembered anything I forgot. I forgot this, and I don't feel like appending to that video, so. This was just a an additional piece of that campaign prize thing for the reflect beat. So anyway, that's that. Um, we'll stop there for now because again, this is a lot to go through, but and, and I don't think it's really necessary. Ugh. Um, hopefully when we get back, we'll be taking a good look over the calves themselves that we've got together and kind of how things are coming together. So we'll be right back. Hey everybody, we're back. We're at Level Up and we've got all of our X's here. The others on the other side here. I've got Wemini Vengeance out. 
We've got Noah out from Hawaii, Marv from NorCal, we're a um, bunch of others as well, but um, I just wanted to do a quick look over of what we have laid out. This should be all of our games, if not all of our boards. I think we had another one go out when we uh, came in, but let's go ahead and take a quick look over the games that we've got on each board, if someone would like to go and do a scroll through. Oh, you want me to scroll through? Yeah, this? go ahead. Take a look at what we got um, got out. Because this is our entire library as of right now. All right. No open beverages. Good thing it has lit, huh? So we've got Blazing Chrome AC. Uh, gosh, half these names I don't even know. Akirios. I, I believe that's Akirios, right? And yes, it's yeah. Akirios. What else do we have here? Akira Kira Star Knight. So we don't have enough to populate all of them all the way, but um, it's oh no, it's uh, what's it called? There we go. There we go. Nope. Ah, too late. I'm not sure what else is in that. We'll come back to it. Um, here we've got Astro Ninja Man, Astro Ninja Hexa, and Infinos. Yep. Over here we've got Half-Life 2 Survivor. Thank uh, you. On this side we've got oh these are do we not um where's the others? Did we not get another up? Um I think we had a couple that were having issues. Yeah. We were not able to get it to them. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, the the, ex, the the shmup one over here isn't up. Oh, no, they're up. They're up. They're over here. I'm dumb. Oh, damn it. Uh, just reboot them. So, yeah, here's the other two. And then we have another over here. No, these are the Street Fighters. Okay. So, yeah, these are the other two. I think this is all five we were intending to get up. This should have all of our games. Yep. So yeah, we're thinking what's it, like literally in between us getting them back from repair with another one is dead. That's been uh, not not exactly a great track record. I well, uh, you know my what, limited edition one at home also was dead on arrival out of repair. Uh, so you know what they say like when you buy a Jaguar, right? You keep one for the garage and one for the mechanic. We dodged well, two of them. We were worried about. Yeah. Yeah. You want to reboot that middle one over there too? Yep. Yeah. So over here, um, we've got. Oh, what? What's Agata Blue doing in here? Shouldn't that be over here? Weird. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Uh, noise. Noise should probably be moved over though, because that can be played uh, horizontal. Um. Uh, anyway, over here we've got um uh, the Kung Fu and Karate Champ. Agata Blue and Nippon Marathon, which uh, we don't have our versus cab ready, so that's not in there yet. Um, but we'll be getting a couple others, Jitsu Squad probably, and, and uh, Lightning Knights for whenever we set up our four-player cab. Maybe we'll do a video on that a little bit later, just it's kind of cool. Um, over here, we've got Toho, Noise, Batsugan, and uh, Dota Kanji, Side Ayojo. So, um, yeah, that's that. Let's go over and take a look at the other one, which has all of our our main fighters. So we've got Samurai Showdown 5 Perfect, um, Akana Heart 6 Stars, Dynamite Bomb, and Axis City 2. This is a nearly full lineup. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty uh, robust lineup for sure, but uh, you know, we're still looking to expand. Obviously, like I said, you know, we don't have cards and everything yet, and there's still a couple games I want, so, uh, yeah. And I guess that's it for this video. We'll, um, if I get more stuff, I'll probably do another big video on the X's, and, you know, again, probably actually just do one on the Versus. Um, I did look at it before we loaded up, and it's just, uh, half the wiring's done, but there's not enough of it that, uh, that I'm comfortable bringing it out, so. Yeah, I think that's it, then. Uh, thanks for watching the video. We'll um, do more exit video stuff later. We've got um, 
one or two more things that we're going to record while we're here out at Level Up. It's been a great show, um, a great way to represent all of our lineup there. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, stay safe and we'll see you next time.